Good morning and welcome to day 10 of 8 Weeks with Julia Kate. So I got to bed at 11pm later than I wanted but my husband had a work thing on and then when he got home he had to do some work. So I got a late night, was so tired I just passed out and then when my alarm went off at 6 this morning I actually made the decision consciously, surprisingly, to not exercise and just to um, just to get another hour of sleep. So I did that because I am worried about getting run down and you have all the freshers at uni going out every night. So they tend to get sick and I don't want to, I want to be in the best position possible to not catch what, what they call the freshers flu. So I was okay with the fact that I will just be doing a six kilometer walk at least today. So that was okay. I was happy with that. Um, but I want to get a proper night, sleep tonight, and then see how I go in the morning for a hit session because it was a hit session that I missed today. But we came out for breakfast. Um, he's being boring and reading stuff for work whilst I'm eating and doing this. So it was yummy. I'll show you what I had. It's rather scrumptious. Um, for mid-morning I'm going to have my celery and carrot sticks again because there's no break whatsoever until 1pm so I will just do that when um, we're doing I think we have a tour of the university so when we're outside sometime I'll just munch down on them lunch I've got a salad at home and I made some chicken, extra chicken with dinner last night to eat with that but I don't know if I'll be home in time so if I do stay out I'll just find somewhere there's actually a bowl food place that I've, that's opened here, so I might actually go and try that. So that sounds quite exciting for a, for a meal out and healthy. So I'll do that this afternoon. I'll just do one of my snacks, maybe avocado or something, because we got shopping last night, so that on rice cakes would be fine. And then dinner, I'm going to do a cook-up this afternoon, so it's going to be the chicken and steamed veg with some sort of spice on it. So I will do that and I will do a massive amount. I think I've got almost two kilos of chicken breast, so that'll, that'll take me some time. So exercise I've spoken about and I am feeling actually quite refreshed and sprightly, but I do need another good night's sleep to feel back to my A game. So my tip for day 10 is something is better than nothing so it's consistency that's always going to win the war okay so what you need to be doing I spoke about the other day about focusing on just one thing per day so try not to get 10 things perfect because you know you think you're underachieving because we are harshest critics so we always think that we're not doing good enough so when you're just choosing that one thing you also need to accept that maybe you can't do it to perfection and you need to accept that something is better than nothing. Of course, that doesn't mean that you sell yourself out and you don't try as hard as you could, but consistency is what we're aiming for and you just try. Try to do something and all you can do is try and that's going to be your best. Okay, so that is my tip for day 10. And that also brings me to the end of my life today. There's not too much happening. My skin's much better. My headache's gone. I think I'm. I think I'm feeling. I'm feeling good. I'm definitely feeling good. Even though I feel like I feel like I'm carrying a bit of extra holiday weight and things like that. I can feel like the the water weight's gone. Um, the toxins are more flush out of my body and I'm feeling really good in myself and happy and I'm, I can feel that the food, there's a lot of feeling going on here, but I can feel that um, like junk food and caffeine and things aren't governing how I feel throughout the day and um, making me sluggish after lunch and so on. So that's always good. So I'm just feeling revitalised and I'm going to do some more experimenting with some breakfast ideas today and I will get them out to you this weekend if all goes to plan. So that is my day 10 of 8 weeks with Julia Kate.